everybody, we are back with another fantastic month of expenses. June. June 2017. Now, 2017 was very, 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 <laughs> very busy for us, and it yes. cost. It was a lot of money, and uh, because we had the wedding, we had the television breakdown, we bought furniture, on and on and on and on. Yeah. We spent more money than we really wanted to last month, and. Uh, we're not even done yet. So let's get right into it. First up is our rent. Our rent is 8,500 pesos. Or 168.48 dollar. Yeah, that's the, yeah, it would be cents. Yeah. Like centavos. Um, our electric. 3,700. Now our electric was really high the last month, and we're not we're not sure why. It might be because we left on the aircon air more con. times, more more than usual. You think? Yeah, two fan, a uh, three ceiling fan. Yeah, we have a ceiling fan, the big fan behind us, and then we have uh, another fan in our bedroom. That may happen. That may be the reason why. Yeah. Our friend our gecko, our gecko's <laughs> in the background. <laughs> so. Okay, so uh, in electric it's 3,700 pesos, which comes to in American dollars. $73. $73. Now, I can't remember last time I had a $73 electric bill in the States, maybe in the 1980s, maybe, if I was lucky. All right, we have, uh, as a lot of people know by watching our video, if you have not watched it, here in the Philippines you have two kinds of water. You have drinking water, and then you have bathing water. You get washed for your clothes, yes. um, washing the dishes, dishes, clothes, shower, and so on. Yeah. So first, we'll go with our uh, our, our regular water yeah. bill that we that would come with. And our water bill last month was four hundred four hundred pesos, which comes to uh, seven point ninety three. Yeah, seven dollars ninety three cents. That's still not too bad because in this water bill we also pay the um, uh, they call it maintenance. I think it's called. It's a main homeowner a homeowner association. Yeah, homeowner association. So that also takes care of our guards. And there's only one way in and one way out of this uh, this place here. And uh, we like it. It's comfortable. It's safe. Very comfortable here at night. Okay, so next is our drinking water, and our drinking water are those great big blue containers like you see in offices in the states. Well, they use those for about every house here in the Philippines, and those cost uh, 25 pesos each. Last month we used four, so that's 100 pesos or two dollars. So the next thing on our list is Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a huge. <gasps> pain in my ass here. It is just a... Not so good. It's not so good. It is, if anyone, if you're American watching this video, you know, remember when Wi-Fi came out and you had dial-up? Okay, now take dial-up and slow it down about half. And then that's what you have here for Wi-Fi. Yes. So our Wi-Fi co cost... 1,499 every month. That's pesos. Yeah, pesos. And how much is that in the USD? $29.71 centavo. That's right, $29.71. That's not bad. Even in the States, you can't get Wi-Fi that cheap. It's just it's impossible. Uh, our food uh, last month wasn't that bad. It was kind of about the same. Um, how much we spent for food last month? 5050 Pesos. Yeah. And that comes roughly to... $100. $100. Now, we have extras. Extras are things like shampoo, uh, soap, dish soap, I mean, yeah. just, you know, anything you Tissues. need. Issues. You know, issues, things you need. So, we just kind of need a rough estimate because we don't keep track of every single little thing we buy. So, we're guessing around 3,000 pesos or... $59.46 centavo. That's right which is still not bad for extras. Now, we did do one thing last month that this is the first time we've done this since I've been in the Philippines, and this is my third or fourth time here. Um, we ate out a lot yeah, in June. Every day. Just, well, not every day, but just about. Almost, for Almost. two weeks. Yeah. Because we're roaming around for 
our wedding. Wedding. Because we were running around looking for a wedding and we really didn't couldn't afford us to run all the way back home, so we ate where we were. So our eating out we had again, we put just a good guess on it, let's just kind of put it in our minds. Uh, around seven thousand pesos. Or one hundred thirty-eight dollar and seventy-five centavo. Okay, and that's a lot of money. Even for here that's a lot of money. Yeah. That's just as much money for our whole month in, in food. It's over that. Now, we did do something different last month that we won't have to do again. We got my ACR, but we also paid for my extension. extension. Now, your ACR, does everybody know that after 59 days, you have to have it or they will deport you. But when you buy your ACR here, when you get it, they also, you might as well go ahead and get your extension at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Um, Oh, and real quick on that, when you do your ACR or any other things like extension, be prepared for them to keep your passport for, what, four days, five days? Because now they send it off to Manila to get it checked, fixed, and then you come back and pick it up, which is no big deal. Yeah. So, for our ACR, the extension, the paperwork, all that stuff combined was... 8,500 pesos in dollar, 168 dollar and 48 centavo. Very expensive, but worth it. Now I don't have to deal with that anymore. Now we also had to, because we're getting married, we had to have what they call a cinemar. Cinemar. <laughs> and our cinemars were we paid how much the first time? One hundred fifty-nine for uh, one hundred ninety-seven for the um, amount. For both of them. Yeah. Okay, and they we made mistakes. Little things like uh, my father's name, his name is Jackie, and I put. Yeah, his name is Jackie, but on my birth certificate he put Jack, so I, it was wrong. So we had to redo it, and then they told us that we can go to a certain place, and if you guys are interested in getting your cinemas like in three days, yeah, leave uh, PM me, leave a message down there, and I'll tell you where to go to get yes. it. Yes, and it is legal, and it's done correctly, and it is true. It's a, it's a, it, it, you you'll pay more, but for our cinema the second time we paid three hundred thirty each. So they come to 660 two, pesos yeah. for both of them, roughly $13.08. Yeah. Okay. Now, along with our cinemas, we have to, we also had to get a venue. Want to go check that? Yeah. Okay, you check that now, read. For the venue is 9,000 pesos. And that's what we're going to include the um, sound system. Yeah, including the, It's not included oh, uh, electric. Heard, yeah, okay. So 9300 Yeah, so it would be 9000 They want you to pay for the electric here at this venue. You, you pay for the, the room, you pay for in, in the room and the sound system come together, but you, then you have the electric, which is 300 pesos. Yeah. So it'll be a little bit more than that. So anyway, that is our venue. venue. Gas for the van. Now, you know, we had our van, and we decided last last month how many times we're going to fill up during a month. We filled up twice, yeah. and filling up twice cost two thousand, and which comes to thirty nine dollars and sixty four cents. Yeah, that's a lot of noise out there. Yeah, they asked why is that we have a very um, high okay. Gas. All gas. It's because we're always roaming around and then we go to northern part of Cebu. Yeah, this is including going on a three hour trip one way. Yeah. That's way up there, way back. And we only filled up twice last month. So this that's good that's good mileage. Um, I need to look at the mileage and write it down and give you guys a good idea how much this little van gets. I think I'll do that next month. Um, but that's where the gas is two thousand pesos or thirty nine dollars. Now we got our wedding cake and we had a, we had a, a baker do it and the cake is beautiful. You'll see pictures of it. How much that cost? Two thousand pesos for in dollar thirty nine dollar and sixty four centavo. Not bad at all for a wedding cake. It's a two or three tier. One, two, three level. I think three. Level? Three I think it was three level. Yeah. Uh, very pretty colors. She her, her colors. She loves the color blue, so she had a lot of blue and whites and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, so we got the cake, two thousand pesos. And now is the gown. Now we're gonna do the gown. Big bong. <laughs> the gown. Uh, <laughs> the gown cost. Twelve thousand pesos. Twelve thousand pesos. Very expensive, hand Without your. Yeah. 
12,000 12, pesos for the wedding gown. Yeah. And we got it, we were lucky because we got, in a, we got in a package deal. So we got the package deal, which actually consists of, um, what was it consist of? The dress. The dress, uh, four, uh, right. one maid of honor, three brides, uh, two bridesmaids, and one uh, flower girl. And you have a for my parents and for your witness and for the groom, man and I think three. Mm -hmm. so yeah. was a, there was a lot of things you know that come with this package, and it was twelve thousand. Include the aras. What else? Yeah, and the, the veil. Yeah, the veil it's and a, the cord. It is a beautiful dress. I, I was, I was when I seen her in it. I was shocked. Not include the bouquet for her. Yeah, the bouquet, we'll be getting a bouquet and stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, the gown again was 12,000 pesos or American dollars it was. $237.85. Right. Um, now. For you. For me, the suit, we could not find a suit. Just couldn't do it. We looked everywhere. I should have brought one from America. And I even asked her when I got, when I we had talked about Mary Ford and we, you know, what color that she wanted, you know, what color suit should I buy, should I buy, what a black tie, that kind of thing, I mean, not, not black tie, but um, a suit, um, you know, or a tuxedo, or, or what did she want, what kind of, what kind of wedding did she want, reception, and she could not tell me. I tell you that. You say, okay. I tell you that, honey, Americana, honey, you bring. Okay. Anyway, I didn't bring it, so we had to find it. And I am six foot five. Yeah. It is it's almost very hard. impossible to find anything for anyone. <laughs> it's very hard to find. So we did find someone who can make uh, a suit. Tagalog. Yeah, well, a suit. She could also make me a suit, but she won't have it ready because she's also making school uniforms. Yeah. But she is going to make me a barong, which is nice because it'll it'll work with everything that we're doing. Yeah. Okay. So for me, the cost is. 5,469 pesos and dollar $108.40. Perfect. And again, I still can't get uh, that kind of clothing in America new or even uh, made for me, custom yeah. fit for less than, you know, for only $108. Yeah. Okay, so next is our caterer. Since we lost our venue, we, we had to get a new venue. This new venue did not have a caterer, so we had to get a caterer. So now our caterer, which we have a meeting tomorrow, is... 24,000 pesos in dollar, $475. $475. That will take care of 100 people, feed 100 people. And uh, that's that's still pretty good. It's, it's expensive, but it's still good. It's, yeah. it's nice. So. Uh, oh, the last thing on our list uh, was my driver's license. I got my driver's license here in the Philippines. Yeah. It is it is valid. They give you a sheet of paper because it takes uh, about six months to eight months to actually get your card. They said maybe a little longer, but so they give you paper. You take it to the mall. You get it uh, laminated. No, it's already laminated, just like your ACR, just like that. Yeah. So and it's and we put it in the van, so we're good yeah. to go. My driver's license here cost me for the physical, the eye test, the paperwork, drug test. drug test, the whole nine yards, that cost? 852 pesos. This is only for your uh, driver license, but the physical and your drug test is this is not uh, oh, that was separate, yeah, wasn't separate it? amount. Right. I think your drug test is 300? I think it was, yeah, 300. Yeah, 300 and your physical exam is only 100. So, yeah, so, so 856. Yeah. So about 856 pesos. Um, without that, it runs around probably $19. Yeah. So about 19 bucks to get all the paperwork done for your uh, driver's license. So. The month of June alone, yeah. minus the, the things that we, we just we forgot, like, you know, the physical and stuff, minus the 400 there, and... 93,730 pesos. And that is in USD is... $1,857.82.
Now remember, this is in the Philippines. This is not only just paying your monthly bills, this is food, bills, uh, a wedding, planning a wedding and everything. So you really can't complain at all. That was very well, very well spent. It was well spent money, it wasn't blowing a lot of money. So we did very well and I can't complain about that. So you have any last words, anything you want to say? Uh, you should be wise in uh, doing your handling your money. <laughs> you, why be wise when you're here because you can yeah. walk through money very easily. Yeah, everything you need, you, everything you buy, everything you eat, you need money. <laughs> so be careful with your money. Yeah. And never leave your wallet on a countertop. Yes. <laughs> it will be lost. Yeah, I, I almost lost mine. Anyway. So that's it. That's our monthly bills, and we'll have another one next month. And I'll try it again. I'll try to get my gas and see how many miles on that. Yeah. So until our next video, I am Kelly. I am Ann. And we'll see you on our next Philippine adventure. Bye bye.